A long time ago, vendors used to carry pots of rice and curries on their shoulder using a kandar or pole. In this episode, we are going to highlight a dish that was created in Penang by Indian Muslims, also known as mamaks. Oh, look at that. Flavor-packed dish that one shouldn't miss when visiting Penang. Nasi kandar. The flavor of the curry has got a little bit of spice, but it's just packed full of the flavors, that cumin, the turmeric, cinnamon, all that good stuff. Nasi kandar is now being sold in a restaurant and is widely popular in the country. Look at that kambing kurma just coming right off the bone. Wow. I barely even moved my thumb to move that. Really one of the most flavorful dishes I've eaten in Malaysia. Never run out of nasi kandar here in Penang. And here we are at Hamidia, oldest nasi kandar in Malaysia since 1907. Wow. I can't even lift this plate, it's so heavy. We got lamb shank, chicken, cabbage, biryani rice, with delicious looking curry or gravy. Man, I'm starving. So this spot in media is so popular and there's always a line outside. And so many crazy choices here, a bunch that we never even seen before in a nasi kandar place. Like you have like fried prawns, lobsters, but we could not resist getting this lamb shank. We love lamb shank so much and this one was incredible. It's just doused in this curry. And we also we got the ayam kapitan, which actually is a dish that we had in KL at a Nyonya restaurant. You can check out up here, we'll put a card for that one. This one looks really good. It's got that distinct orange color. Very curious how they have it here at a nasi kandar restaurant. See if there's any difference in flavor. And also got it with the cabbage lady fingers, aka the okra, over the biryani rice. So excited. They they pretty much automatically banjir the curries on this rice, which I love. Just from the two dishes, they just, just flopped it on there. Let's get down. I think the lamb shanks call my name first. Oh, look at that. Mm. It's tender, but it's not like fall off the bone necessarily tender. It's got a little chew to it, but the flavor is explosive here. Mm. Let's try a bite of this ayam capitan. So much turmeric, cumin in here. It's not really that spicy, but it's got a lot of flavor and a lot of spice to it. I definitely recommend getting this. Amazing. Got a big clump of this rice. You know, I love that it's covered in the curries. You can still really taste the distinct flavor of that biryani rice in there. This is just a flavor explosion at all levels here. It's definitely very popular for a reason. And it's the oldest. We'll see if it's, I can already tell it's gonna be one of the best. That's just how much flavor there is here. Incredible. Into this lamb shank, you get the cardamom pods in here. And even as you dig into this biryani, you get some of the sweet flavors, like there's caramelized onions in here, there's cashews, there's slight sweetness to it too. So it's really spicy, you got really sweet, you got all those spice, all those cumin and turmeric, cardamom, clove, you name it. It's just really one of the most flavorful dishes I've eaten in Malaysia. I keep saying this almost everywhere we go, but that's just, that's how flavorful, incredible the food is in this country. So this is more of like the Indian Muslim style. It has a lot of Middle Eastern taste to it too. I, I just love it. I'm a big fan of these big, bold, punchy flavors, and this has it. Definitely highly recommend Hamidia. It is spicy, a good level of spice. That's why you have to get your mango lassi lament. This is delicious. This delicious nasi kandar on my hand. We are at the first floor of a hotel, Merlin Hotel, and how banjir this is. Whoa, can't wait to have this, man. Uh, and it smells so good. We have lamb, we have eggs, and we have ayam goreng, chicken, rice, banjir with all the curry gravies in here. Can't wait to have this. Uh, the aroma of banjir curry always makes me happy. 
So this is our next stop here. So we're at Nasi Kandar Merlin. I love that it's in the first floor of a hotel. Like, how cool is that? This place is just packed full of locals. It's a little more off the beaten path compared to the other. You know, it's not really. We're actually right in the center of Georgetown. Like, we're really in a very busy area, but it's not packed like some of the other Nasi Kandar places in the city are. So it's cool here. You gotta come here for either breakfast or lunch. That's it. They run out of food. We here by around one, two o'clock. Bond here to flood it. They just give us a little bit of everything. So it looks amazing. Got the hands. About to go try. Try the lamb first, actually. I just got a little spice to it. Dabe has a nice chew. Got that good lamb flavor right here. Kambing is so good. Wow. Try some of this. Uh, I am going. I'm glad I gave a leg piece here. So you got this little mini drumstick. Mm. Mm. Fried chicken is very juicy. I really like that. I can taste the turmeric flavor. And you can even see there's a little bit of that yellow there too. I've just become a fanatic for turmeric fried chicken. The worst fried chicken in the world should just have turmeric in it. That's, that's what I'm starting to think of. Now I'm gonna try some of the bungee gravy with that rice. A lot of motorcycles going out here. As you see behind behind me, there's people checking out of the hotel too. But um, the rice is cooked really nicely with the grains here and the flavor of the curry. It's got a little bit of spice, but it's just packed full of the flavors, that cumin, the turmeric, cinnamon, all that good stuff. Mm. This Nasi Kandar is from Mohammed Rafi. This is a very busy spot, especially at night, and it's our second time here. This chicken that I'm getting, two of it, it's really good. For me, it's like the best chicken out of Nasi Kandar that we've been eating so far. It looks so messy, but looks can be deceiving. Messy and beautiful. So Mahab Rafi is a real local's favorite here. So it's outside of Georgetown, it's more further west in Pulau Ticos neighborhood. The fried chicken is always a must. It's this beautiful red color. I've never really seen a fried chicken like this, Penang. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Ayam Meta that we had in Ipo at the infamous Nasi Ganja. But this one has a crispier skin to it. I also got the vegetables here. Very yellow vegetable, definitely a lot of turmeric here. Got the okra, lady fingers. And there's these caramelized onions that look awesome too. And of course, you got the kwa champur, like the mixed curries, banjir, flooded, ready to go. First, a bite of this fried chicken. This looks beautiful. Mm. The skin already has so much flavor. You can even see that red color is penetrating into the meat. Look at this piece of this meat right here. It's got the spices penetrate into it. Mm. Chicken is just juicy. It's got a nice little spice to it. Not spicy, but just full of flavor. I love the balance of the crispy outside with the juicy inside. It's one of the best fried chicken back here in Malaysia. I'm not saying a lot. We've got a lot of incredible fried chicken here in this country. We got a nice scoop of this bungee rice right here. Mm. Oh. Mm. I like this, it's got a nice kick to it, but it's not overwhelmingly like, not melt your face off spicy, these curries, but it's really flavorful. Jumi may have had the right idea to double up on that fried chicken because this fried chicken is really on a whole nother level. I am so looking forward to this chicken, man. Maju for another nasi kandar. When in Penang, have nasi kandar as much as you want. Dean's Maju is one of the most popular nasi kandar spots here in Penang for good reason. So we look on the outside, it looks like a small place, but it's actually huge. It takes up a few different shop houses. I got the ayam goreng, the fried chicken. I got the sotong, the squid. I got this ayam rose, the 
chicken and the red sauce. It's, look at it, it's already falling apart. And we got it on the nasi dalcha. The nasi dalcha is special here. It's rice that's cooked with dal. So dal is the split pea, dal, dalcha, nasi dalcha. Also got the okra, lady fingers, and got it really bonjour. And you can tell here, they don't play around when they bonjour your rice with these curries. They really do flood it. They don't go with this chicken. This chicken's already falling apart. It's so soft. Unbelievably soft chicken. It's got a slight bit of sweetness to it, spicy. Oh my god. That's insane. Try some of the I am goreng. It looks really nice. I see a lot of spices coming off of here. Mmm. Strong turmeric flavor in this fried chicken. Fried chicken is quite tender, not too crispy. Some parts are a little crispier than others, but that turmeric flavor is excellent. When it comes to nasi kandar, you always got to take a big bite of this nasi. Look at that. Look at all that curry mixed with that nasi dalcha. Mm. Take a big scoop. The curries here are so fragrant, so flavorful. Nasi banjir with the curries, you eat it just like this. You add all these lovely sides with it. Incredible. Wow. If you look at this rice, this has anise, clove, rice like that, why not? We're here at Restaurant Tajuddin Hossein, right in Little India. First place we came to on uh, this visit to Penang, and they do a little things a little differently here. So if you sit down, you order. They actually you pick out your rice. They bring everything, rice separate, the side dishes separate. That's not here. Like unless you want to ask for the banjir, and that's cool. We want to switch it up for this video and show you a different side. So we got some really signature dishes here, including the ayam rose, the rose chicken. The signature dish here at Tajuddin Hussein, amazing. And we also have the ayam bawang, which is the onion chicken. We got the kambing korma, the lamb korma. Got I am Goreng, Jumi's favorite fried chicken. They even give you a little dish here of the dal with some potatoes. And I love it because here, they usually you bungee or you flood it, but here we can bungee ourselves. And here we got different kind of rice too. So we actually ordered the nasi tomato, the tomato rice, and we have the nasi biryani, the biryani rice. Let's order a business to get down this I am Rose. Oh, look at that. It just comes right off the bone so easily. Just smothered in this reddish brown gravy. Try a little bit by itself first. Mmm. It's actually ridiculously flavor packed, and spicy, which is so juicy and tender too. I'm a big fan of really spicy, like aggressively spiced curries, and this is it. Try a little bit of this uh, nasi tomato. Mm. Really flavorful rice. This nasi tomato actually reminds me a bit of West African jollof rice. It has a similar kind of taste to it. And they both have tomato. Wow. Mm. And I'm really curious about this ayam bawang. It's just covered in these caramelized onions. Look at that. Oh, the chicken is also just very tender. It comes right off. I love the kind of sweet flavor that caramelized onions give it. Do a little bit here. I'm gonna do my own kind of bungee for some of this kurma. Some of the dog gravy. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that kambing kurma just coming right off the bone. Wow. I barely even moved my thumb to move that. It's amazing. And this spot's a classic. It's right in the middle of Little India. It's been here over 70 years. And it's popular for a reason. What's nice, you have the lunchtime shift, and we're actually here for the dinner time shift. But definitely one of the best nasi kandar we've had here in Penang. Mm. So, to end this delicious meal, this is rasa. Mm. Let me have a sip. So, there's onions, cumin, curly leaf. Cheers. Wow.